this room looks full and I'm so bloody intimidated, I think I'm leaving. Okay, we are talking about what if. Uh, I was in class fourth, and I don't know how many of you remember your life from that point in time in your life. But I was in class fourth and it was our Islamia teacher who used to, on a personal level, one on one level, used to hate me. <laughs> and for some very odd reasons, I don't know what was the reason, but she shared with us the, the world's most popular story, the story of Khargosh and Kachua. How many of you have heard that? Wow. So she shared with me that story and uh, not with me, but for, with the class. Now the problem was that Khargosh was my favorite animal. And the basic reason were two. One, I don't know how many of you have ever dealt with a Khargosh or a rabbit, but there were two basic reasons for that. One, when I was that young, my face was small, but the ears were of the same size. So I have a brotherly relationship with um, Khargosh. And the other one was that if you have dealt with Khargosh, you know that Khargosh is one of the most laziest animal you can ever come across. Uh, a Khargosh never moves until there is an important urgent board meeting. Yeah? And that's what I loved about Khargosh because I, since my birth, have hated hard work. I hate it so much that I go for a walk in a car. <laughs> just keep it very simple, right? I just don't like extra labor. I was the only boy who used to play cricket in formal shoes because you don't need joggers to empire a match. <laughs> so that's, that's how my life has been. I hate hard work and I'm so damn proud of it. And in fact, every time I prayed from Allah that please give me a job which does not require any form of hard work. And so he listens. So she shared this story and I was pretty upset about it because you all know that story. They started together. Khargosh bohot aage chala gaya, decided to take a nap. Wo nap went long, lekin kachua slowly and gradually chalta raha aur phir finally wo jeet gaya. And then the moral of the story was slow and steady, Wins the race. What if is the day? I want you to think about it by feeling your Almighty watching you over. Put your hands here and tell me one thing. Kya kachuha race karne wala item hai? Is it? Is it an animal that should be engaged in something like this? Hello? No! But this race happened! And then you know what happened? It won! And that's okay. I can tolerate that if we don't come up with such lousy moral of the story. Slow and steady wins the race. Ek bachcha subah so kar uthta hai. Every time we are telling him, jaldi, 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 jaldi. And shaam ko we tell him, slow and steady wins the race. Duh! <laughs> I think there is something going wrong. Something is somewhere is screwing everything up for us. We have somehow been told that slow and steady wins the race, this story didn't have that. The story is all about pray from Allah that your competitor sleeps. <laughs> because if it doesn't, your father can't even win. <laughs> That's the problem which we have not realized. And you know what? Stories make mindsets. They develop mindsets. And this is what has happened on the name of hard work. So there's an envelope. My question would be, what comes out of an envelope? Come on, can I have some loud guesses before I move forward? What comes out of an envelope? Money, ledger. Good, okay, you're right, you're right, but I'm the speaker, I'll be ultimately right. Ek envelope se wahi bahar aata hai, jo usme dala ho. Right, okay. Now do you know, what do we say? What's the English word for that process of taking out of an envelope? What's an English word for taking it out from an envelope? Take out. Unveil. Okay, your word's gone. My chance. 
develop. Envelop, develop. And dare. You there with me? You remember all those oldies, Hakimsons would know that one click, aap kya karwate te pehle usko? Develop. Aur phir hum kehte te, oh God, meri naak moti aaye nahi. It is actually that ridiculous. You see? Because we didn't have filters then. Okay? But now what I'm trying to talk to you about is ek envelope se bahar nikalne ke process ko kehte hai develop. So what comes out of an envelope? That is what gets developed from an envelope which was already in there. But now when I talk to these faculty members and managers and parents all around and I ask them, hey, it's your responsibility to develop your children, your students, your employee. They say, yes. I say, how you do that? They say, we look at where my child is struggling. And then we try to coach them, train them, and make them a better person. Ridiculous idea. Because develop means bring out what's there. But what we do to develop, open the envelope, see what Allah missed out on. <laughs> and try to compensate the mistake. Duh! There's something going wrong which we need to address over here. Because what is happening is, we are missing out greatness after greatness after greatness on the bloody name of hard work. Because somehow we have been told, and let me tell you a very strong and a very powerful and a very motivational and a very moving quotation by none other than there's this popular man, I don't know if you know him or not, but uh, Hazrat Sohail Zindani is what people call him. <laughs> what he said, what a profound thing he said. I want you to just internalize it. He said, if you are bad at something and you try hard, you become not that bad. <laughs> but if you are good at something and you try hard, you become world class. And that's, and that's one thing which has somehow been missed out on from the entire cycle of development. Our absolute job is to look at people, see what's missing. See what's missing rather than what's in there. It's like Sachin Tandulkar's mom coming in and saying, Bitta batting to sab kar lete hai, bowling karke dikhao. <laughs> Why the hell you want him to bowl? While he's crushing the bowler's dream. And this is one thing which I think I look at it as my jihad. As my responsibility to go to people, go to parents, particularly parents. Because they love so much, they just screw it up. <laughs> I was at a school, I'll not take the name because this goes recorded. I was at a school and I was meeting, I was doing a parent teacher meeting over there. This lady came to me and said, Sohail, aajkal ki bachiyan kitni badtamiz ho gai. Mega, tell me. Mujhe kehti hai, mera beta, he's in ninth class, itna obedient hai, itna acha hai, meri beti sixth class, itni badtamiz hai, parti nahi hai, aur mein usko keh rhi hun ke apne bhai jaisi kiyo nahi banti, to mujhe keh rhi hai ke tum usse itni khush thi, to mujhe peda kiyo kiya. You know I didn't replied her. Right? But there's a problem. Even if we have more than a child at home, you must have siblings. Are they the same? No! <laughs> they are different, in fact, ridiculously different. And we somehow benchmark somebody. And then the rest of our life is spent closing the gap, getting better. I was ridiculous at maths. In fact, I'm not that bad at maths, but when alphabets enter maths, I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I kind of, you know, I like numbers with numbers and alphabet with alphabet. Don't confuse them. I, I think that's ridiculous. But I was bad at it. And, you know, people come and tell me, get better with it, get better with it. My school life was all about maths. And I, my father, who's a visionary, he came to me and said, so hail, work hard ya kuch bhi karo. Fail nahi hona. And then I concentrated on kuch bhi. 
Because that's important. You have to somehow survive. That's what the world is. Now nobody gives a shit of the fact that do I know maths or not? I make enough money and I have people to do the maths. <laughs> That's important. Yet you keep your focus right. And you can't come out of it. So I give you an example. The school where I studied from, they invited, I'm from Hyderabad, they invited me for their management convention for which I was absolutely excited. And we went to Malaysia. I was praying from Allah that no one will not teacher from Allah. But where is it short term? Mein sunta hai wo? <laughs> I mean, he needs an advance notice, you know, for God's sake. Duh. But, you know, the teacher was there. And I looked at her and I just didn't went into the room until the program started because, you know, you don't want to be disrespected before your session. And I went into my session, I did my session, 10 o'clock, we break for tea, and she comes to me, she had tears in her eyes, of course of happiness. But she came to me and she ordered me like this and said, Sohail, I said, yes ma'am. She hugged me, I hugged her. She said, itne achhe kaise ho gaye? <laughs> and I told her, kyunke main aapki baaton mein aaya hi nahi tha. <laughs> So now, now that the conversation is going and your blood is rushing and the claps are coming, I don't want to just leave it by pumping you up. I want to give you a tool that you can use. So here are my three tools that I'm giving you. First, I'm going to talk about sign, S-I-G-N. Then I'm going to talk about stop, S-T-O-P. And then I'm going to talk about free, F-R-E-E. And this is something that's going to help you to look into what you're good at. But before I get into these tools, I'll just take another minute by telling you. Where you can improve the most? In your areas of strengths or in your areas of weakness? God bless you. You know that the speaker is talking about strengths, so the answer would be strengths. <laughs> Duh! But I am telling you, that's not how it is. Because once the report card comes in and you have two A, two B and one F, you know where all the muscles are going now. <laughs> Nobody looks at A. We start with F, what the? You know, <laughs> that's the problem. And we somehow have to beat that mechanics. So now what I'm talking about, because parents hate me saying that. Parents want me, tell them to work hard. I'm telling them. But what I'm telling them is to work hard to what they are naturally gifted at. I'm not willing to work hard for something that's not there. Mere ghar pe ek aam ki peti aai. Jab humne aam khole to upar sare aam sahi te sirf teen aamo mein daag tha. My mom said, aaj ye kha lete hai, varna kal phekne mein chayenge. Humne khaye. Agle din mazid chaar pe daag tha. Ami ne kaha, ye bhi kha lete hai, varna ye bhi phekne mein chayenge. Humne puri peti daag lagne ke baad khai. You may laugh, but that's how we are screwing up our life. What's there fresh can be used at its best. But then we are saving it. <laughs> Someday later. Duh. That's what I'm doing. So now let's talk about three basic ingredients. First, how to know? People ask me, Soil, yeah, strengths make sense, but how to know what are my strengths? Okay, first let me give you some sign to that. S is success. Activities that you have been successful at naturally. And this can be anything, think white, think bold, think crazy. You know, I've seen students aise baat karte karte kuch sketch karte rete. They don't need somebody to tell them they are good at. Or it's make think general. You know, somebody have come to you and said, Yaar, tu jhoot bolta hai, pata bhi nahi chalta. It's amazing. <laughs> That's a skill. You have some political capabilities <laughs> which can be utilized later, right? <laughs> In fact, very recently as a nation, we have realized that as a country leader, you need to be a motivational speaker. And so I'm also now looking at it for future. But what I'm trying to tell you, my friends, it's something very important. Success, because nothing beats that. Something that you have been successful with without any particular intimidation, without any particular education. You have been just good at it. You've been good at talking to people. You've been good at meeting new people. You've been good at avoiding people. 
anything, anything you're good at. And to make you even better at it, I'm telling you, look at the mischievous acts you were good at. There is a lot of sign over here. I'm telling you. My daughter is her Montessori. Ek bacha tha Daniel. Rose uski shikayat aati thi. And I so wanted to meet him because I tell you, my friends, I have told you, talk to Daniel. These are bloody nuts. I am telling teachers party. We don't need them. So Daniel was, but I wanted to meet him and I couldn't. But anyways, my daughter had her birthday and we went there with goodie bags and children were standing in line. Dhai ponetin teen saal ke bache standing in line. What a ridiculous idea, isn't it? They should be coming all over the place. That's how nature created them. And so they were in the line and me, my wife was sitting over here. We were there and we were giving goodie bags and I had a ball, football. The boy came in. I was giving the gift. They were saying, thank you, welcome, kissy, huggy. It was an amazing time. And then came a boy. I gave him the ball and he said, kitne ka hai? <laughs> and I lost it because I didn't have any welcome for that. So I just got a and her teacher shouted, Daniel, mein ka, oh, legend, ye hai. <laughs> Yeah. And, I, and I got him up, I got him up, and I said, 30 rupees ka hai. He looked at the ball and he decided that it's a good deal. He said, Niche rakho, papa inge leke de dunga. <laughs> I met his papa. I shook hands, he was in my, you know, I shook hands and said, aapka beta hai. He didn't say yes. <laughs> I said, aapka beta hai. He said, kya kia? <laughs> I said, kuch bhi nahi, bahut piyara bacha hai aapka. He was overwhelmed. Isne ka aap lo phir. <laughs> he was done and dusted with him. And I then sat down with his father to understand what's, what's the problem. And he started talking. And after listening to the problem, I said to his father, there is a problem. You must refer a doctor. He said, suggest me one. Me ka aap dhoonde hai, aap ke liye kaun sa doctor sahi rahega? <laughs> he said, didn't we, weren't we talking about a child? Me ka nahi, wo to sahi hai. प्रॉब्लम आप में है क्योंकि आपकी नस्ल में पिछले पांच नस्लों से सिर्फ गुलाम पैदा हुए हैं अल्लाह हैज जस्ट ब्लेस्ड यू विद अ ब्लडी एंटरप्रेन्योर एंड यू आर टेलिंग मलिक रियाज हाउ टू बाय अ फ्लैट इन कोरंगी एंड इफ यू कांट बाय बाय इट ऑन रेंट बाय वर्किंग हार्ड ड इज गोना बाय एवरीथिंग वरना कौन सा बच्चा पौने तीन साल की उम्र में पूछता है कितने का है And every time I say, if you're born poor, that's not a problem. If your father-in-law is poor. <laughs> then you should not complain. Because he gave you a chance. But now I'm moving forward and I am giving you sign. So S is success. I is instinct. Something that you just voluntarily find yourself indulged into. Indulged into. You're teaching somebody. You're sharing with somebody. You're writing something. But instinctively you are driven in that activity. Think about that. This is something where you lose track of your time. Third is G. Growth. Things that went taught to everybody and to you, you were able to better respond to that. Remember, koi class mein cheez karwai jati thi, sabko ek saath chikhai jati thi, koi ek hushyaar ko pehle a jati thi. Because that was a bloody sign which we ignored. So space of growth and last is need. No matter how much you do it, your urge of doing it never dies. If I'm boxing, I may get hurt. But if somebody says, one more round, yeah, that's Need. You don't get tired of doing it. So that's sign. Success, instinct, growth, needs. Now I give you stop. Because people ask me, Swell, what to do with weaknesses? Chhod de. Nahin. I'm saying, develop your strengths. Manage around your weakness. I came to this city from Hyderabad. Baki sab ata tha. I could not speak in English for consecutive one minute. Bimar ho jata tha. Now I do training outside Pakistan. Trust me, I don't do it in Urdu. In fact, I have in Malaysia in a session in Malaysia, I Urdu in Malaysia. They thought hard English. <laughs> I was okay with that. But 
But I, re I, I realize that although speaking was my interest, there was a tool which I was missing at. I worked around that. And I give a lot of credit to two girls in my class when we were in principles of microeconomics, the first class that I took at my university, and we were asked to present. And you know, how many of you hate presenting? Just raise your hand. Wonderful. Dunya ke teen bade dar hai. Pehla hai public speaking, dusra hai death, aur tisra hai death while public speaking. So people do hate it. That's not a problem. So when she said who's going to present in the next class, I dropped my pen and kept picking it up until she selected two and I got up and then this brightened up face came directly in front of her and she said up and next and I was like duh that week was the most constipated week of my life and then the next Monday I had to present I went to these two girls imagine the level of scaredness I had I went to these two girls I made them my sister that's the last resort a man can go to I made them my sisters just at a term that they start presenting first because the strategy was if these two present, we might get on with time and I can save myself. But teachers started with presentations only and I knew there's no way out. The first girl, I still hate her. She presented in English. The second, I still love her because when she spoke, she spoke in English but usme thoda thoda Urdu mein bola and I got so inspired, maine bhi thoda thoda English mein bola and that worked out. So now, somehow you also have to stop upon weaknesses. First is S, that's stop. Plain stop. If it's in your hands, stop doing it. Stop doing those forms of activities that does not give you power. People may ask, what is a strength and what is a weakness? No, strength is not what you are good at. And mark my words. Strength is not what you're good at. You might have been good at studying pre-medical for which you selected MBBS, which is now... You know, now you need a MBBS to cure you, because only you were good at pre-medical, duh. So strength is not what you were good at, and weakness is not what you were bad at. Strength is something that strengthens you, and weakness is something that weakens you. No matter how good you do, you don't want to do it again. Are you getting my point? So first is stop, stop, pain, stop doing it. That's the first thing. But not everyone has that leverage, so let's move to T. Team up and offer up. You are weak at something, make a team with somebody who's good at that. And also offer up something that you are good at, offer it to somebody. But last is P, perceive. For God's sake, don't look at your weakness as a curse. Look at it as a feature. It's a feature. It's how you are designed. Not everyone can do everything. Samina Bakes climbed mountain and she did a wonderful job. She, we invited her to one of the camps that I was hosting and then she came in there, she talked to kids, she ran off. I was talking to a kid, I said, Kya karna hai tumko? She said, Inshallah, main bhi paar chadungi. Me ka, tum sab upar chad jaoge, to hum niche kya karenge? <laughs> That's what inspires her. Let it be to her. Because we all are unique in our individual sense. So second, team up and offer up is there. But perceive your weakness as a feature. That's okay to say, yes, are you? And now last is free. That's F-R-E-E. -E. F is focus. Focus. Focus on what you're good at. By following the sign. Following the sign which I gave. That is success, instinct, growth. Yes. Focus on what you're good at. And once you do, Try to release it. These student hosted TEDx events are amazing opportunity for that. You have a voluntary team executing this entire show, which I tell you, we work in the corporate sector, even the best professionals are not able to organize it in such a seamless manner, which is incredible. But now, when these kids came forward, they also offered themselves up for voluntary assignments. These were volunteers who, who did that. And I think volunteering yourself allows you to identify what you're good at. Because you would not volunteer for something which you drain doing. I think that's a great opportunity. Communities that are offering more voluntary services, you'll see those communities thriving over the others. 
Because volunteering gives you an opportunity to really identify what you're good at. Because you don't want to volunteer yourself for something which you just don't like doing. Duh. You know. That's so ridiculous. I mean, banda volunteer bhi kare aur maza bhi na hai, kya fayda hua? That's important. So, R is release. Look out for the small opportunities. E is educate. And I think that's very important. Educate yourself in what you're good at, not at what you're bad at. Because when you educate yourself in something what you're bad at, you are trained. Educate yourself in what you're good at. Don't sell Suhail Zindani to a finance for non-finance manager program. Send him to presentation skills. He'll learn better. And last is expand. And what is expand? Look out for opportunities. To convert those little movements, little movements of strengths to larger part of your day. Offer it voluntarily, offer it professionally, whatever it may be. But do that. Why? Because now I'm almost concluding what I had to speak to you. We were at a, a certification program that I was attending. And I really hope that I control my emotions because at times I get carried away with this. But we were at a certification program and our instructor came and showed us a painting and asked us to comment on it. Now, because the painting was horrible, we commented that way. And we all bashed it. Once we were all done, there was this boy sitting since morning in our room. We didn't know who is he. Then the facilitator said, okay, now I'll make you meet the artist. Then you know what we do. No, it's not bad. Um, you know, the cover-up technique. So we all started covering up. And then he laughed. He said, I was just kidding. He's not the artist. <laughs> we were like, kind of, you know. We said, you decide what you want. And then he said something which moved me deeply. He said, when you criticize an art, you're criticizing an artist. So when you criticize a human, think who's the artist. He just creates the best. Unfortunately, what he blessed us with the best, we are somehow trying to fit in to what others want it to be best. And that is taking away the real majestic that has been created in us. Our ultimate uniqueness. Something that makes you, you. I'm not that motivational speaker who's going to come and say, Apne andar ki awaz suno. That's ridiculous. Andar sirf pumping ki awaz aati ho. Koi awaz nahi hai. And if, you know, there are some medical issues, pe dusri awaz. But <laughs> there's no other andar ki awaz. Look at your harkate. Look at what you are doing. Look at what you are drawn to. And make the most out of it. My last word, life is so damn limited to cover up unlimited weaknesses. But life is enough to make the most out of the ultimate gifts Allah has given to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.